Oh no, there's a body on the loose. Let's see if our detective can crack the case. It's been a long stumble day at the office when a report came in that a person went to the sealed tomb located in the garden. Because the owner of the property is a VIP, been ordered to conduct an investigation. That's why someone knocked on the door. Hello, detective. I'm here to assist you on this case. I'm just curious, has anything been stolen from the tomb? Only the body of Nazarene that was executed. He was buried there a couple of days ago. Only a grave robbery? That's not a major crime. What makes it so important? Nothing much. It's just that the pro owner of the property was a very wealthy man. The two soldiers that were guarding the tomb were very traumatized while it was under the protection of Rome. The first person to be questioned is Martha, a recently freed slave who is the owner of the resident while Joseph is away. Look, this may be her coming down. I'm really glad you officers showed up. My name is Martha. That's M-A-R-T-H-A. -A. My master Joseph, he just left out of town and he went to Arimathea because he was upset with all the confusion and the noise and the crowds that came for the crucifixion on Friday. And I know he's gonna be upset when he finds out what happened. Why don't you tell us what happened? Just the facts, ma'am. Well, apparently he knew the man that was crucified personally and he wanted him to have a decent burial. So he offered up his own burial for that purpose. And he even had a huge stone covering up the entrance and there were guards in front of the entrance just to make sure that people couldn't get in. And I don't know how people got in with those guards in front of the entrance. That's what we're here to find out. Was there anyone else present in the home between the time the body was buried and the burglar was discovered? Not that I know of, just the guards. Okay, one more question. Do you know who might have done this and why? I have no idea, but I hope you catch him soon. Thank you for coming here. No problem. Thank you for having me. Bye, guys. I think it's time to talk to the guards. Angels! 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 Angels? Yes, angels. Are you the guards who really when this happened? Yes, angels. What's your name? Angels. What happened? I I passed out and I woke up. The tomb was empty. Why? Because because angels. Angels. Thank you. That's all we need. Angels. 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 Can you be witness for that dead person's death? Okay, bring the witnesses in. Man, let me tell y'all, it has been crazy here. It's true. So what happens? First, Pilate said, who do you want to be free? Jesus or Barnabas, who killed many people? Yes. And guess what they said? Barnabas? No, Jesus, he didn't do anything wrong. Really? Yeah, and they shouted, crucify him, crucify him. And that's what they did, they crucified him. So they killed an innocent man? Yes, it's sad. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. Did anything else happen? Yes, then that huge curtain that was at the top of the temple was torn in half, from top to bottom. And that's, that's when people knew that, that Jesus was the son of God. Son of God? Thank you, that's all we need. You're welcome. I need to get back to work anyway. Yeah, me too. Bye, y'all. Since that's all the witnesses we have, let's go back. He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! Wait, who's alive? You don't know? Jesus is alive. Jesus? Yes, the Son of God was crucified and risen from the dead. Wow. wow. Yes, now I'm supposed to tell everyone the good news. He's alive! 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 He's alive. He's alive. I think we have all the information we need to give our verdict. Me too. On Easter Day, three days after, a few women found the tomb wide open and it was because the angels had moved the tomb. The reason why inside it was empty is because Jesus has risen from the dead. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter.